Hello, welcome to Maths Monday. Uh, usually I do these down in Exeter, which is in Devon in the southwest of England. Today I'm actually, I'm away, I'm in France, and it's very, very nice here. Um, you can see the sort of dilapidated, typically French looking building behind me. Now I've already done a video on tests of divisibility for nine, and you can see the link for that up there if you haven't already watched it. I'm moving on from that today, and we're looking at tests of divisibility for three and six. But the nice thing about it is it's essentially the same rule as the test of divisibility for nine. Okay, what, what do I mean by test of divisibility? Well, all I mean is to work out whether a number can be divided by another number. So we're looking at tests of divisibility for three and six. So we're going to be able to work out whether a number can be divided by three and divided by six. So if we start by looking at a test of divisibility for 3, and it, it's really just the same as a test of divisibility for 9, which is you add the digits together, and if, if they add up to a number that is a multiple of 3, in other words, in the 3 times table, then the, the starting number was itself divisible by 3. Let, let me do a few examples to show what I'm talking about. Um, if we've got 1,431, to see whether that is perfectly divisible by 3. We add 1 and 4 and 3 and 1 and that gives us 9. Well 9 is a multiple of 3, it's in the 3 times table therefore 1431 is divisible by 3, it's in the 3 times table. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll do a couple more examples. Let's say I've got 5673 I want to know if it's in the 3 times table. Um, it is uh, we're going to add those together. So 5, add 6, add 7, add 3. They add to 21. 21 is in the 3 times table. It's a multiple of 3. So therefore, 5,673 is in the 3 times table. It is, a, it is divisible by 3. Right? So that's for the 3 times table, or the test of divisibility for 3. And a test of divisibility for 6, almost exactly the same you want to start off the exact same way, see whether it's divisible by three, and then all you've got to do is see whether it's an even number. So it has to fulfill both of those criteria. It needs to be divisible by three and be an even number. And really, the reason for that, if you think about it, the six times table is just every even number from the three times table. It's every other number from the three times table. Okay, right, so let me do a couple of examples to show what I mean. Let's say we've got 1,896. Well, we're going to add those together, see whether it's uh, divisible by 3. So 1, add 8, add 9, add 6 is 24. 24 is a multiple of 3. So 1,896 is definitely divisible by 3, but it's also an even number. Therefore, it's also divisible by 6. Okay, last example. Let's do 854. Well, it's an, it's an even number, so that's good. So that tells us that it might be in a six times table. It might be a multiple of six. But 8, add 5, add 4, add to 17, which is not a multiple of 3. Therefore, it's not in the six times table. It's not a multiple of 6, or it's not divisible by 6, whichever way you, you, know, you want to think of it. I hope you found that useful. Just these tests of divisibility... Um, can be quite useful. There, there are times where we need to find the factors of numbers in maths and it's, it's really useful to have a quick way of seeing whether 3 is going to be a factor of a number or 6 is going to be a factor of a number. And as I mentioned in my previous video, I like I use this a lot when I'm playing the countdown game. I find it really useful. Good, right, wonderful. Thank you for watching and I shall see you next week on another Maths Monday.